This thing is so small, I can't even tell I have a microphone on. All right, let's get into this. Now, you know I love my PTZ cameras. I'm looking at one right here. I'm looking at one right here because they give you the flexibility if you have a small or even a solo team to be able to move these cameras in so many different directions with either a remote control or using a dedicated joystick controller. It makes video production a lot easier for a small team. Now, in this video, I want to share with you guys how I use these cameras with my favorite live streaming platform called Ecamm. Now, if we jump inside of our Ecamm console here, you see that I already have my camera source, which is called the Blackmagic Design. Now, this is because I have my PTZ cameras connected to my A10 Mini, which is made by Blackmagic, and it's connected directly into my laptop here on the desk. Now, my favorite way to control my cameras is by using a dedicated joystick, mainly because I have multiple cameras and it's just so much easier to use a joystick controller rather than a remote control. But there's something really cool that you can do in Ecamm if you don't have a whole bunch of cameras. And even if you do, you can still do this. For those that primarily only have one or two cameras, this is gonna be something pretty cool. One of the downsides of having just one single camera is that you have one shot. You can zoom in and you can zoom out, but you're really only working with that one camera. What if you wanted to make your one solo camera look like three distinct different cameras? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that inside of Ecamm. We're gonna go into our AB Sources tab here under camera switcher and we're going to create three different sources here we're going to select camera a and make it our black magic design we're going to select camera b and make it our black magic design and we're also going to scroll down and make camera c our black magic design so as you can see, we have three cameras that are all showing the exact same thing. But inside of Ecamm, I'm gonna go into select camera A and go into our camera effect setting. This is where I'm going to actually use the Ecamm version of zoom and pan. So I'm gonna create a close-up shot and put this in exactly where I want it to go. So let's get our headroom there. And now that I have that set, I'm gonna scroll all the way down and select apply to all scenes. And I'm gonna select apply to all to confirm. Now I'm gonna go into camera B, select camera B, and I'm going to do another shot here. So let's go back up into our pan and zoom. We are going to crop in a little bit, but this time I want to use the side closer with the laptop in it. So I'm gonna crop and move it over a little bit and scroll down and select apply to all scenes and apply to all to confirm it. And for my final shot, camera C, I'm gonna make sure that's selected, go into camera effects, and then I'm gonna make this the other side that has more of my logo. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just make it the logo right there. And we'll go down and select apply to all scenes. Now, as I was scrolling through, you probably saw some additional things that you can change as well, specifically the picture settings. Now, if you're trying to change your color settings on your camera using the camera remote, this can be a nightmare unless you're looking at it on a screen right in front of you. One of the things you can do with Ecamm is actually go in here and change the color settings. So let's say this camera is a little too dull and I wanna give it a little bit more brightness. All I have to do is just pull up the brightness meter here and I don't even have to go into the camera settings to do this. I can do this right inside of Ecamm. Maybe I want to increase the saturation a little bit, give myself a little bit more color, or maybe I want to be very abstract and change the tint and give it more of a purple tint. So you can see that I can actually go into Ecamm and actually do this rather than trying to go through my camera settings and stumble through the menu system. Now, if you're familiar with using LUTs, you can even install this inside of Ecamm and use your own predefined presets. A couple other things that you can do here is change the mirror settings. So I can turn the mirror on, I can turn the mirror off, I can use black and white. I can also use the blur effect. And once I scroll down, I can increase the blur effect on my camera. And you see that this is only controlling one single cam. Because if I go into camera B, it's not affected. So you can actually have three different types of cameras just from your one solo camera source, which is pretty cool 
to give you more range in what you can do as a solo or small team operation. Now that I've made the transition over to Ecamm as my main live streaming platform, I'm learning more and more things that this software can do. If you're interested in learning more tips and tricks about this particular live streaming software, let me know in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. We got so much to talk about when it comes to these PTZ cameras and the Ecamm software.